Hi there crafters, it's Christine from Bugmark Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to do with my uh, cute little violin here that I got in a garage sale haul. Um, first off, I managed to take off all this broken um, and damaged Christmas ornament that was right here. There's a little glue, but it doesn't bother me because I'm just going to be painting this anyways and putting decorations kind of all across the bottom and up. Um, first I'm going to paint this white so it uh, will actually look good holding this because the black would be too stark with it. I'm going to paint this completely white with this uh, deco art um, pure white acrylic paint. Then I'm going to go over it with a really pale pink wash just so it's not so bright where it's going to be sitting. Um, and then the strings here used to be gold. Um, I didn't like them. They were too... I don't know, they're kind of broken. They're in really good condition um, for the most part of it, but it just wouldn't work with what I want to do with it. So I'm going to go away and paint this, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've gotten it painted. I painted it twice in white, and then I went over it with this bubble gum color that I, I handmade using the, um, the white and crimson red watercolor paint and diluted it just a little bit just to get it to so it would stick. Um, and then I went over this part here like after I did the whole thing pink I went over this part and the top part here with uh, antique white and then I let that dry completely and then I went over it again with um, my own uh, crackle paint which is just some um, Elmer uh, school glue and the paint again so it kind of I don't know if my phone's picking it up there so it kind of gives it a vintagey look um, I didn't do that with this because normally this part here is usually um, wood, or not wood, um, metal. So I didn't do it. Sometimes it's wood, but this is not pretending it's metal. So did that. And now I'm going to go over it with this gloss. So once that's done, then I'll start decorating. Okay, now that I'm back with uh, the whole painted thing, I actually finished this because I was just way too excited. I couldn't wait. Um, I went over it with a type of Mod Podge. It's actually a glue sealer that works as glue, a sealant, and a top coat. So I used that to make it oops, sorry, all shiny and seal the glue in so it's not going to peel if I get anything wet on it. And then I added some silver cord to use for the strings. Um, I added this really pretty lace here as a ribbon, as a, uh, the lace ribbon as a bow, and then added a little flower in the middle. These are all, I believe I am, roses flowers from my local scrapbook store. Um, this is a curly rose, and I think these are called cabbage rolls. Um, this one's a bigger cabbage rose. And then there's teeny weeny little bud. It's a little purple bud. Try to focus. Focus. There we are. Go focus. And then I added some of this uh, beaded trim here. Just a little tiny piece there and a piece there to kind of look kind of like a bow. And then I got a new die cut, and I cut out these little leaves. Uh, down towards the bottom here. Um, I added the same kind of big rose and, and all these. Kept it pretty simple with the, with the colors, and then I added in these peacock blue uh, little sprays. And I glittered up a wood veneer. It used to be um, just dark wood. And I colored it up. I'm going to flip my violin back upright so it'll stay um, around the bottom and then this this is a little foam flower kind of underneath here that you can see this one better a little foam flower I added glitter to it and everything um, and then this is a really big material I don't know what kind of material it is I just added some sparkles to it just to make it kind of look like it has like little water droplets on it looks really really cute in the, in the light and then I added some more of the peacock blue sprays and some of this beaded spray back here. Um, I added some more of these little cabbage roses and the little tiny roses. And then with this uh, beaded trim that's all through here, what I did is I started up here and I curled it around and zigzagged it through, all the way through, and just kind of went around it. It, I love the look of it. It just it added something to it because I couldn't add a ribbon in there. And then I just added two little pieces right in here to kind of work with it. Um, there's the side on the inside there. I used these little cabbage flowers in here to cover up 
the big rows so it doesn't look so funny. And there's that. And then this is the top of the the ribbon up here, this lace. It's really pretty. It's very delicate. I tried having it down here, but it was just the ribbon was just too small, so it didn't look right. Um, I can't back out any further to show you what the whole thing looks like, so I'll have to just go up and down a couple times. I'm sorry. Um, I don't mind that this is all gibbled in here um, where the other decoration was because it just adds adds character to it. I actually really like it. It just gives it that more of a vintage look to it. Um, the stand here, this little photo stand that I showed in the very beginning of the, sh of the um, video here, um, I actually glued it with metal effects and hot glue around it so it's permanently it's a permanent fixture on it so wherever it goes it's gonna sit um, it does fold up flat so you can you know store it or whatever but I tried to get it a little hanger or something right in here but it just does not want to stay on so I'm like okay we'll just have it so it sits it looks really pretty where it's sitting though um, anyways I'll have pictures and everything at the end, and I hope you all enjoy um, everything from the start where it was quite ugly to the end where it's really, really pretty. I'll even show a photo of my inspiration photo of where I got the idea from. It's just gorgeous just as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!